This is modern Shanghai, the towering skyscrapers of the new Pudong area. And this is the famous Bun, the old financial center with its grand European style architecture left over from the city's colonial past during the 19th and the early 20th century. Right here in the shadow of all that is another part of Shanghai that outsiders rarely see. It is one of the city's many old neighborhoods that are really more like little villages right in the heart of the city. Shanghai is old and Shanghai is new and Shanghai is modern and also very traditional. Shanghai is a city of contrast. Ah, Xi Da Zhe, ni hao, ni hao, ni hao. This is Mrs. Xi, my good friend. Every time I come to Shanghai, I come and visit her. Ah, Xi Da Zhe, you live here in this area, the environment is nice. Yes. You've been here for a long time. Yes, for a long time. Wow. Mrs. Xi has been living here for many, many years. Look at that. You know, they wash, look, you can tell from the, from the washboard. You can tell from the washboard, this is very, very old. She's been using it for many, many years. Truly antique, of course. This is more antique than her. And she's going to show us around. You know, she's retired. And then every morning she go to do exercise, Tai Chi. Mrs. Sui told me, the people have been living here for many, many years. This is an old neighborhood. People actually, it's a living quarter for many, many people. Look at the building, uh, since 1920s. Hey, look at the mailbox. Mrs. Xu's mailbox is full. The mailbox, her mailbox is full. She live around here, Changlulu, Erzi Qilong. Wow, this is where she lived. This is the address in Chinese. 这里可以就很好的，我们这里蔬菜、稻米呀，都在这里种的。哦，they said living here is very comfortable because yeah, very quiet and people very nice and friendly. 很多很多年, very many many years, and people actually do all the prepping, all the prepping right here. Look at that. Hey, look at this. She, this is her stuff. Now, you know, you wash all your stuff here, huh? Wash all your stuff here, and then you cut all your stuff here, huh? Huh? Cut all your stuff here. Now, this is one thing. Look at this. Uh, I'm going to help her out a little bit. See, see. Is it big? Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is good, good, good. This is good. In the neighborhood, you can shop, you can have your hair cut, you can have a little, a little coffee, and everybody, all the people. This good neighborhood. This neighborhood power. Oh, this is good. It has to be heavy. Is that has to be heavy? You know, a lot of people don't realize orange is a symbol of good fortune. It's because in the color, in the color of gold. I told you this is a city of contrast. Well, it is time for another one, from Mrs. Shear's humble kitchen to the professional restaurant kitchen of another great cook. Both women, both here in old Shanghai. This is the old Shanghai restaurant. And the name is no exaggeration. It has been here for more than 130 years. I put my chef jacket to learn from the restaurant's master chef. She has been working here for 27 years. With me is chef, master chef Tang Hongfang, Fu Sudan. Today, she's gonna to show us how she turns three main ingredients into a beautiful, elegant presentation. I call Chef Tang the shredder because her signature, Brace Three Shreds, is all about her masterful shredding technique. There will be three different ingredients, ham, bamboo shoot, and chicken breast. This is a famous ham from this area. You can do very thin slices. One, one group. And then you put it in this little cup. There's a mushroom inside. You cover this with the mushroom right in the middle and then you line them up. Thinly slice bamboo shoot. You slice from the top so you can control the thickness. Look at how thin this is. And then once again, thinly slice. Total concentration, very important. A lot of skill. And then you put the bamboo shoot in between the ham. Finally, shredded chicken breast. By the time she finished cutting this, add it all together, will be 1,999 slices. Almost 2,000 slices. This is the measure of your skill. Inside there, there's a hole, we gotta fill it up. Fill it up with pork. 
the pork lightly pink, also thinly shredded, more bamboo shoot. And then you mix this together. You see, mix them all up. You fill it up like this. You press it, fold it in. The chicken breast is cooked, the ham is cooked, and the bamboo shoot is ready to eat. So you only have to steam it for approximately 10 minutes. Let's take a look at it and steam it for 10 minutes. Ah, you steam for 10 or 20 Ah, All you have to do is steam for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now look at this, look at this. Put it upside down. And then put the soup right here. Ah. Hold on to the wok. Use a chopstick, push the mushroom down. Ah, success. Mmm, look at this magnificent, delicious banquet. It represents the new and the old of Chinese cuisine. Some of these are traditional dishes. This is a very old fresh water shrimp, poached in oil, very lightly seasoned, braised tofu with crab roe. Ah, this is egg precious duck. Very, very nice. This is a very, very new dish, definitely. Steam, three shredded, ham, bamboo shoot and chicken, and in a nice clear broth. This is very light and very healthy. Now let's dig in and try. I will also try some of these. If you love Shanghainese cuisine, this is the place you have to come.